Hi everybody, Sierra and I are getting the homestead buttoned up this morning because we're gonna be gone for a week. We're gonna go spend a week in the Boundary Waters, so it's our first Boundary Waters trip of the year. My dad's gonna watch the chickens while we're gone and also the cat, we're leaving the kitty here. So um, it's just gonna be Sierra, Skeeter and I, and yeah, we're just gonna head out into the woods and spend a week out there. Are you ready to go, Skeeter? Are you excited, buddy? He likes camping, don't you? He loves it. Stop in at the ranger station here and get our permit, then go get some groceries, and then we're gonna head to the campground for the night. Well, we're gonna head into the tent for the night and head into the boundary waters first thing in the morning after some coffee. All right, well, here we go, we're heading in. We got about a, a little less than a half a mile portage to get to the first lake, but we're gonna get going because the black flies are absolutely horrible right now. All right, well, I'm about done with this first portage here. I see the lake right here. I'll run back. We have one more pack back there. And Sierra should be pretty close behind me. And here we are, Little Gabbro Lake. Here, set it right there, and then I'll carry it the rest of the way. You're yeah, not. I can do it. There's some wolf poop on the trail. Well, we're on the lake, little Gabriel here. We're heading to our second portage. We're gonna portage to the Tuishwe River. There's some pretty nice campsites there. Hopefully, they're not taken. But that's where we'd like to camp. If not. We'll have to backtrack or continue on up the river. There's more sites up ahead, but. All right, port is number two into the river. Heading that way. Let's put in where those uh, are on the ground. Right into the cedars, you mean? Oh, smell them? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh boy. A good omen. Holy shit, bud. As popular as an entry point as this is, I'm pretty surprised that we're having like Every campsite's been open that we've gone by, literally. Pretty awesome campsite here. Sears fishing, we have some rapids right here. Tent pad here, this is where we're gonna pitch our tent, right above the water. Pretty sweet spot. We'll be able to hear the rapids when we're laying in the tent, which is gonna make me sleep like a baby. Pretty excited, this is a really nice sight. And what's nice is this is on a river, so you can make a loop, you can go that way, this way, that way. We'll probably head that way tomorrow. There's a lake we wanna check out. We're just gonna day trip to it and maybe fish it. But we're gonna hang out around camp for a while, get some food chill throw a few casts from shore i gotta believe with this moving water it's got to be pretty good fishing here but anyways yeah we're just gonna chill but this is gonna be our home for the next few nights i'm gonna get out our chairs yes please and i need my sandals Me too. sandal sandal thank you, thank you. fishing tackle Air horn, camera gear, fire starters, butt wipe, water filter, chair, chair, literature, 
And I think that's all we need for right now. Well, that's done. Absolutely killer view. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you know, the sound of the rapids is just gonna be awesome falling asleep to that tonight. What's going on, fam? So we got a fire going, we're getting ready to grill some steaks. We were gonna have the steaks for dinner, but decided to have them for lunch instead because we're pretty hungry. So this afternoon, we've kind of just been hanging out around camp. Um, we kind of had a lazy day. We were gonna go out in the canoe, but it was a little bit windy earlier. And now we're just enjoying a campfire um, and enjoying the evening. So um, I don't think we're gonna go out tonight, maybe later, I don't know. Well, we're done with dinner. The pizzas were good. I think we're gonna have a s'more later once it gets dark. But well, we're gonna throw a few casts from shore. We have been fishing from shore around here. We haven't had any luck yet, but Sierra's seen a couple fish jump. So we'll see if the evening bite's any good around here. Tomorrow we'll do a lot more fishing. We'll probably, we'll fish all day probably. Take the canoe out, fish a few different spots and see if we have any luck. Pretty good.
Good morning, Sierra and I are cooking up a feast. Um, we're gonna travel over to Gabriel Lake uh, today and do some fishing. So we're having a big breakfast, pancakes, bacon, and eggs. Um, and then we're gonna get on our way. So here's where we're at. We came in on Little Gabbro, entry point 33. So we had this portage, then we came down here, did this portage into the river, and then we are camped at this campsite right here. Today, we're gonna head back this way, do this portage again, and then fish in here and fish Gabbro Lake. So this is where we're gonna kind of spend the day fishing. But this is kind of a relaxing trip. Last year we did, all of our trips were like, go, go, go. You know, we would set up camp, pack up in the morning. Like we were never at a campsite longer than a night, it seemed like. So like we were always on the go. And so this time we just kind of wanted to chill base camp. We're not really trying to put on miles. We're just kind of hanging, but there's plenty to do good fishing in this area. Little pike. Oh, dang it. Too small to eat too, we'll throw them back. The black flies have started to come out. They're not terrible. In the parking lot they were bad. It was really discouraging when we were putting in. But they haven't been too bad. Sierra's got a fish on. Does it feel like a northern or a walleye? It's a walleye. Is it really? No, it's no dang it. Oh that was a trout, dude. No, it wasn't. Well, we're back from Little Gabbro. The fishing wasn't any better over there, so we decided to head back to the river here where our campsite is. We caught a couple little northerns, that's it. So like I said, it wasn't really worth, or it wasn't any different over there. So we'll just stay, stay put and fish uh, closer to camp, I think tonight, and then tomorrow maybe go try a different spot. Well, the fishing was really slow today. All we caught were a few really small pike. We probably could have kept one or two of them, but they were pretty small. Um, but yeah, the fishing's been really slow, so we're gonna have to go with plan B for dinner tonight. Well, here's plan B. Some rice and some pizza sandwiches. It'll do the job, I guess. Well, good morning. We're getting some breakfast going here. Our second batch of coffee as well. We're gonna go out and try to catch some fish here right after breakfast. Um, yeah, I didn't have much luck yesterday. Just a few small northerns, like I said. What's frustrating is that we're seeing fish jump all around camp here. And we've been fishing from shore a lot, but we haven't been able to rope into any. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out this afternoon. Maybe with that rain coming, something will change. We will see. yours pretty good i like oatmeal i do too actually well breakfast is all wrapped up the dishes are done we're sitting enjoying another cup of coffee before we head out um, like i said it's going to rain this afternoon so i'm going to get a tarp strung up and we're going to make sure everything's put away that way if it starts pouring while we're out in a boat nothing's getting wet yeah, 
wonder how his plan was. I think he enjoyed the cool off. Yeah. All right. Well, we are departing camp. I'm gonna try to catch some fish. It's been kind of discouraging so far this trip, so we're hoping that, you know, today's a different day. We just want to be able to catch dinner, but I don't know if we're just not finding them or if it's too cold or I just well, suck. We've been seeing so many fish jump up. Yeah, that's what I said earlier in the video that we've been, it's really discouraging because we're seeing them jump and we're throwing everything that we have at them. Yeah. Right where they're jumping and nothing's taking them, so. So, we were trolling across the river here. I was paddling, Sierra's trolling, and uh, she roped into a pretty nice Eater Northern. So we do have some meat for tonight, and it's still early, so I'm fairly optimistic that we'll at least rope into another one of these, and that'll be plenty for us for, for a meal tonight. Small though. Well, we're leaving the river. Gonna take the portage over to Clear Lake, try the fishing over there. Here is Clear Lake. Let's head out there and catch some fish. That's a keeper. Yeah, it is. It Let's go. Like swallowed it too. We need another one. It's bleeding. Well, we're eating fish tonight. We have three on the stringer right now, so we're gonna try to get one more. If we can get one more, we'll have a feast. We'll have no problem eating it, that's for sure. These aren't very big northerns. They're okay eating size, but a fourth one would be nice for sure. Well, I think Sierra and I are gonna head back to camp. Um, the wind is starting to pick up. I think that rain's coming pretty soon. So we're just gonna kind of lollygag, take our time getting back there, see if we can't rope into one more. Or I guess Sierra's gonna be fishing, I'll be paddling. That's why she catches more fish than me. But, uh, just kidding. I'm excited to have a fish fry tonight. The three that we have will be enough for sure, but one more. I'm pretty optimistic now. We just had a bunch of action right there. It was like bang, bang, bang. We each caught a couple eaters. Sierra caught another little one, so. We stayed there and fished for another 10-15 minutes and didn't have any luck, so we're moving on and heading back to camp now. Because we got to clean these fish, we got to get a fire going, and cook these, hopefully before the rain gets here. Well, we're back at camp. I'm gonna go grab the fillet knife and clean these fish. Worst case scenario, if it starts raining, we can always cook on the little gas burner I have, but it's way better having fresh caught fish over an open campfire. Well, all right, I'm quite a ways away from camp. I'm gonna get these cleaned up on this nice rock ledge. Pretty nice view. Sierra's got potatoes and onions going on the fire. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yep. There's one more piece. Nice. Oh, two. All right. There's enough fish though, those mm -hmm. three. Yeah. And they were like small eaters, they weren't, you know.
Well, we're starting to feel raindrops, so Sierra's cooking up some s'mores quick. And then we're probably gonna have to go run get underneath the tarp here pretty soon. Good morning, it's our last day. We're doing our coffee inside the tent this morning because it's pretty cold, really windy outside. So that fire pit is out on a point and it's been really windy the whole time. So waking up this morning, we both went out and had our pee and we're like, you know, let's just have coffee inside the tent. So we're making a quick batch here. <clears throat> we're gonna enjoy it and then start packing up and heading out of here. We're just about all packed up, getting ready to head out of here. This is a pretty nice campsite. Definitely well used, but pretty, good views all around. And we are headed out. Left a little wood for the next folks. I always kind of appreciate that. See if this weight distribution is any better. Just could you feel that on the way? You know, we're like front heavy or not? Yeah. Right? I mean, not bad, but. Oh, okay, look at I guess, right? And then, plus, now with that up there, it's with the bag up front. And me and the barrel, it kind of helps it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, we're back on Little Gabbro, so we just have one more port, well, one more paddle, and then that last portage back to the vehicle. And then I think we're gonna splurge and get some cheeseburgers in town and some malts. Cause you kind of start, you kind of start craving that stuff after a while out here. That's good. And that's it. Last portage before the truck. And just like that, we are back on the homestead. Let's go check those chickens. Grass grew a lot since we were gone. Hello. The kitty missed us. She's probably ready to run around outside. Yeah, she is. She's probably mad hey. at us. Holy cow, you guys grew. The chickens. Well, all is well on the homestead. Everything looks good. All the animals are accounted for. Only thing was our shepherd's hook was on the ground and some of our bird feeders are smashed. So we know what that means. So we checked the trail camera here and here's what we saw. Well, I got the generator going right now, topping off the batteries from us being gone. I heated up some rainwater on the stove, so I'm gonna have a much needed shower. During the summertime, I normally just take this blue Coleman jug, throw it up on a ladder and have a nice outdoor shower. So last night after my shower, I had Sierra give me my summer haircut. Got rid of the stash, shaved my head. Now I look like a little boy again. Well, I appreciate you guys watching this video. 
um we have more of those coming up so a little more extreme ones later on and then a, a pretty cool lengthy one in the fall so stay tuned for those other than that we're just gonna keep plugging away around here on the homestead we did get this gutter hung up on the front porch roof yesterday and then we planted some strawberry plants in front of the porch here we also started some of our pails and then we're gonna get the rest of our garden planted back here after that bulldozer comes. So stay tuned folks, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you soon.